Lord, my heart is ready to receive Lord, a blessing. My hands, my hands are lifted up. Lord, my heart, my heart is ready. A blessing from you, Lord, a blessing, a blessing from you. Lord, shape me, make me, mold me, shape me, make me. A blessing, a blessing from you, a blessing from you, Lord, a blessing from you, shape me, make me, mold me.
would like to thank God for being here. Thank God for my mom, my dad, my brothers. Thank God for taking me to a week, another week. Please pray for me. We're going to turn the hands into the presiding minister.
Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're going to try to move on. But I tell you, God is good, and he's worthy of all the praises. Hallelujah. I'm excited. Friday, July 17th, Junior Church. But we thank God, praise God for you. Um, we're going to have brief remarks from, uh, uh, well, not visitors. I'm not going to say you, you're visitors, that's God's people, amen. But we're going to have remarks from Apostle Coleman, amen. I'm sure our Pastor Jackson, he's going to sing for us, amen. So um, you need not think we're going to sing tonight, amen. So if you Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Isn't God good tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but it's been a rough week, but it's been a blessed week. Amen. We thank and praise God for how he's kept us 
from the last Sabbath right on up until the start of the Sabbath on tonight. Amen. God is worthy to be praised. And I'm just glad to be in the house on tonight. We honor Bishop-elect James and Evangelist Jan and to uh, Dr. Daniels, to Mother Raglan, amen, and to uh, Reverend Dr. Xavier Jackson, to Minister Wesley, and all the household of God, we just thank and praise God for being here on tonight, and it is truly a privilege to be here, and it's an honor, you know, and I just want to stand while I'm standing and say, you know, to the, to the Raglan family, to Sister Flora especially, you know, I offer you my condolences, but we know that God is too wise to make a mistake and too just to be unsure. And we praise God for the life that Brother Carl lived. Amen. Now, I was reflecting back just briefly on today, you know, how when he had the store down there, and I used to ride my little bicycle up there to the store to get candy and whatnot. And he was always so pleasant to be around, always had a smile on his face. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to miss that, but I thank and praise God that we all come to live this life to live again. But on a better note on tonight, I come to support my sister in Christ, my friend, and just to be a part of the service on tonight. She blessed the socks off the other night up at St. John, so I said, Lord, I'm expecting nothing less on tonight. Amen. Amen. And um, so we just excited about the Lord. And I just want to say to those of you who were at St. John on the other night, if you went home and turned on your television on the Word Network, Noel Jones was preaching the exact same word that Bishop preached. So I said that to say this. I want to encourage you all here at the house of God to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you have a man of God that is hearing from the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. That you take heed to what you hear. That you can grow and be the sons and the daughters that God is calling for in these last and evil days. I bid you to uh, God speed on tonight. I pray for your peace. And I pray that even on this next few days and next few weeks to come, that you would just be blessed in the Lord and just continue to seek him daily. That everything that you've been seeking him for would just bombard you. Amen. So I pray tonight that you enjoy the word that comes forth. Take it. Be greedy with it. Amen. Amen. Great is thy faithfulness, O oh God, my. Of turning we be for the In the summer and winter and the springtime and harvest, sun, moon, and stars in their courses above. Joy witness to thy great faithfulness, mercy, and love. Great is thy faithfulness, 
great is thy faithfulness. Morning thy morning, new mercies the speed. Lord unto me There is pardon for your sin and a peace that endureth thine own dear presence to cheer and to God For your tomorrows, blessings of mine with ten thousand beside. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, morning by. A faithful God. Great is thy faithfulness. Even when you're not faithful, God is faithful. Great is thy faithfulness.
the games. Amen. 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 When I think that scripture is in one patience. Amen. That's the great of your faithfulness. Amen. And sometimes when I think about that, of all the things that we have done, we have to ask ourselves the question, have I been as faithful as I should have been? Hmm. Amen. Amen. We start at 8 o'clock. Started at eight o'clock. Well, great is your faithfulness. Amen. Ah. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. But you know, I thank God for our our, our faithful saints, though. Nevertheless, I do thank God for our. We have been going all week. <coughs> Amen. Sister Rhonda lived a long way. Amen. For the sacrifice that she had made for her family. Amen. And and her mother. Amen. They are, are so faithful to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. And so Amen. our church mother. Amen. She has traveled with us. We have been different places to sing, and our church mother has been in place to support us. And I want to give her, we ask you to give her a hand. Wow. Mother Ragland. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We are but ready to hear the word of God. Amen. And we're going to ask um, our Dr. Daniel's husband. If you would come and introduce our speaker, following him, we're going to have um, presentation coming from um, our sister Powell, and then the next word you will hear will be from our Dr. Daniel J.K. Kelly. Amen. 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 Lift that 
Come on, give the Lord some praise. Come on, bless the Lord up in here. Oh, bless his holy name. Come on, let's give the Lord some praise. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Tell your neighbor, I know he's worthy. Tell somebody else, I know he's worthy. He's been so good to me. Hallelujah. Say, God has blessed you all day long. God has been good to me. Hallelujah. We do honor the Lord and his presence on tonight. We thank and praise God for being at the house of God tonight. I thank God for Sister Raglan and her persistence, praise God. Because God had it so that it would be tonight that I would be here. And we thank and praise him just for that. You know, God has a plan. God has ordained it, Sister Lisa, for you to be here tonight as well. Amen. Amen. I thank God for all of you, for the clergy and for Bishop-elect, praise God, for allowing me to just be here in your presence on tonight. And there is a word from the Lord. But we want to bless God just for a minute. We're not going to detain you, but just for a minute. Help me sing this. I need the Just bless God with me. I need the God's got 
got a word for somebody tonight. God's got a blessing for somebody tonight. Somebody's been waiting all day long. God said, I'm going to do what you need tonight if you just bless me. God says, praise me in advance because your blessing is coming. Hallelujah. Your blessing is coming. Hallelujah. You've been working real hard all day. Things didn't go like you wanted it to. But God says tonight is your night. Somebody better receive that. Somebody better receive that. Somebody better say, I receive it in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. We're going to Psalm tonight. We want you to follow along with me. We're going to Psalm 27 tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I believe that the word always comes to the preacher for the preacher first. This was a word that the Lord spoke in my spirit on today. We're going to read Psalm 27 in its entirety, and it says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, glory to God, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. Watch this. One thing. Hallelujah. Have I desired of the Lord that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall my head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou saidest, seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Praise God for the word up in here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to put a tag on this text tonight. Tell somebody I ain't scared of nothing. And I want you to say it, I want you to say it the country way. I want you to say nothing. I ain't scared of nothing. I ain't scared of nothing. You got sometimes you gotta convince yourself. Sometimes you gotta just speak over yourself and you gotta you gotta believe what you're talking about. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Now say it again. I ain't scared of nothing. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you now for this opportunity. Lord, we thank you, God, for this worship experience. And we pray, Heavenly Father, now that you would send an anointing. 
that only you can do. We thank you, God, for this blessed place and this blessed people. We pray, God, now that you would speak to somebody in the name of Jesus. Transform, loose the chains, give somebody the victory in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we just thank you, God, for what you are about to do in this place. Let your people be edified, you glorified, and the devil in hell horrified. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 My brothers and sisters, tonight it's exciting to know that we serve a God who's always willing to stand by our side. Our God has been with us through some difficult times, amen. He's embraced us during some sad times. And he's lifted us up in our weakest moments. Do I have some witnesses in the house tonight? Likewise, our God allows us to experience some things in order that our fears may decrease and our faith may increase. And as I look at the Psalm 27, I'm convinced that David knew a little something about increasing faith and reducing fears. Uh, David wasn't afraid of anything or intimidated by anything because when you know who you are and you know whose you are, uh, you can boldly profess like David did in verse 1. He says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? And even as we sit in here right now, someone is, is in, in the midst of this, this church allowing the issues of their past and their, the, the fears of the present to hinder them uh, from making progress in their mind. Uh, they're, they're allowing the issues that happen all day to block what God is trying to do right now. There, somebody in here is allowing what happened last week to, to cloud your spirit. And God is speaking to us through the words of David that there is no reason for you to fear on tonight. Uh, there's no reason to be anxious. There's no reason uh, to not walk forward because, again, if you know who you are and if you know whose you are, then you understand uh, that God has done exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you could ever ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. So we listen to the words tonight of, of one who was called after a man of God's own heart. Uh, he says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? How does someone make such powerful statements? Uh, he declares, the Lord is my light. Y'all following with me? He declares, the Lord is the strength of my life. And these declarations are followed by questions that need to be answered. Uh, because if you know that the Lord is your light, if you know that the Lord is the strength of your life, who are you going to be scared of? Can I get a witness tonight? If you know that the Lord is your light and the Lord is the strength of your life, who are you going to fear? Uh, what are you going to allow to come in and hinder you from where God wants to take you? Uh, David can make these bold statements because of his faith. And as he goes through these verses, he's real clear on what God has done. The first verse is like his thesis statement in a paper. Anybody ever been in school and had to write a thesis statement? David begins to write this song. His first statement is his thesis statement. He says, there's no reason to fear anything that comes in your life. And the reality is that fear does come. But I read in the word, y'all hanging in there with me? That God does not give us a spirit of fear, but he gives us a spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. So how does he say these words? Well, David says in verse 2, when the wicked, even mine enemies, and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, he said they stumbled and fell. Uh, David begins to rejoice and triumph in God. He talks about his triumphs in God. See, in church, we always like to talk about our troubles, and we always like to talk about our issues and our tragedies and our trials more than we do our triumphs and our victories. 
And the truth is that there are people in the church that can testify that every day hasn't been a bad day. Uh, if you look back over your life and you begin to think things over, uh, you'll realize that my good days outweigh my bad days. And as the songwriter said, I got no reason to complain. You can say that when I think on the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, your soul will just have to cry out, hallelujah. I thank God for saving me and where he bought me from. Somebody in here ought to know what I'm talking about. You might not want to, but you can say, Lord, I just want to thank you just for keeping me one more day. Lord, had it not been for you, I wouldn't be where I am right now. Lord, had it not been for you that was looking out for me the other day driving down the road, I could have been hit and in a bad accident. Lord, had it not been for you at the doctor's office, uh, the enemy might would have taken me out. Lord, uh, had it not been for you on the job, uh, I might not have a job right now. Lord, uh, had it not been for you that was by my bedside, uh, I might been resting in my grave. Uh, somebody got a reason to tell God, thank you for keeping me one more day. Uh, ought to believe every believer ought to take time out just to tell the Lord, thank you. Lord, if you don't do anything else for me, you've already done enough. But Lord, if you don't bless me, I know you've already blessed me. And Lord, I'm satisfied with where I am right now. Because Lord, I just thank you for everything that you've already done. For every mountain that you brought me over. Lord, I thank you for every valley that you took me through. Lord, I thank you for every trial that you seen me through. Lord, I I thank you for every blessing that you gave me, Lord. I thank you for this I give you praise. David says, David says, I ain't scared of nothing. Because I got victories. I've got triumphs. And I put my trust in the Lord. He says, I trust in God because I've seen how he's able to work miracles in my situations. And because I've had some triumphs and I've had some ups and downs and I've learned to trust him in all of my ups and downs, I know that God has got my back right now because he didn't leave me then and I know he's not going to leave me now. Solomon told his, told his son in Proverbs, he said, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct thy path. Here he declares that we have no reason to be afraid. We can be fearless because we serve a God who is trustworthy. Tell your neighbor God is trustworthy. We serve a God in whom we can believe. Listen to what he says in verse 3. He says, though a host should encamp against me, he says, my heart shall not fear. A host, not two or three folk, but a host. Though a host of folk try to come against me. Might be everybody on the job, not just the boss man. Might be everybody at school, not just the bully. But look, he says, you shall not fear. The war shall rise against me. In this will I be confident. And I don't know about you, but that verse gets me excited. It's something about knowing that I can have confidence in my Lord and Savior. It's something about knowing that I can be confident in one thing, that he that has begun a good work in me will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. I'm so glad. So glad that I can trust in the Lord. Do I have a witness in here tonight? He says, no matter what you go through, no matter what you deal with, no matter the terror, no matter the trauma, no matter the trial, no matter the trouble, no matter the tragedy, no matter what issue is faced before you, God is still able to do what you need him to do. He will provide for you. Amen. He will secure you. Amen. He will take care of you. Amen. He will heal you. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, regardless of what your issues in life are, uh, God will uh, take care of you. Oh, don't fool yourself. There'll be some moments where fear and doubt will try to come shake. 
There are going to be some times in your life where it might be, might be kind of shaky and rocky for you. Uh -huh. And that's what happens in life when tragedies come yeah, right. and troubles come. Uh -huh. They try to make you lose your trust in God. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. But the psalmist said, even if a host tries to encamp around by me, even if war is raging around me, he says, I still be confident. I still know who got my back. I still know who holds tomorrow. I still know who woke me up. I still know who brought me this far. And I still got my praise. Is there anybody in here today that can say, if troubles come, I still got my praise? If trials come, I still got my praise. If issues in life come, I'm going to trust in God more. Though they slay me, yet will I trust him? Can I get one witness that say on a Friday night, I will bless the Lord at all times because I trust in a God that will never fail. On a Friday night, I will give God the glory. Hallelujah. Because God has blessed me and bought me a mighty, 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 mighty long way. On a Friday night, on the Sabbath Eve, can somebody just tell the Lord, thank you up in here. If you trust in God, he'll make a way for you. If you trust in God, he will provide for you. If you trust in God, he will hold your hand. If you trust in God, he will open doors for you. If you trust in God, he will see you through. If you trust in God, he will get you up out of your seat. If you trust in God, you don't mind giving God praise. If you trust in God, you're going to say, Lord, I know that you're with me. Lord, I know you'll bless me. Anyway, you bless me, Lord. I will be satisfied. If you trust in God, you can be confident. If you trust in God, you can say, I look to the hills from whence cometh my help. All of my help. Tell your neighbor, all of my help. All of my help. All of my help comes from the Lord. If you trust in God, is there anybody that trusts in God? Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Is there anybody in here that been through something? They say, I trust in God. And he made a way for me. Oh, glory to God. If he did it before, he'll do it again. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Say it. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah if you trust in God. But David, I'm almost finished. David ain't scared of none because of his triumphs and his trust in God. But he's not scared of nothing because the text tells me that he spent time with God this year. If you follow the next several verses, you'll notice that he talks about the time he spent with God. He spent time with God in worship. He spent time in warfare. He spent time in praise. He spent time in prayer. He says in verse 4, one thing. I get excited when I read that. One thing have I desired of the Lord that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Look, he tells us what worship should look like. Everybody ought to have a good worship experience. Everybody ought to worship in the church. But let me tell you, on your way to the church, you ought to spend some time in worship with God. 
Let me tell you, if we worship God on the way to worship God, If you worship God, somebody missed that. If you worship God on the way to worship God, oh, there wouldn't be anybody sitting down looking at me now. Because when the praises go up, the blessings come down. I don't know about you, but every now and then, you got to turn the radio off. Every now and then, you got to tell the kids, be quiet. Every now and then, uh, I'm driving down the highway. I don't know about you, uh, but hands lifted up, uh, mouth wide open to God, uh, and I'm in worship with God. Uh, if you are in worship, uh, on the way to worship, uh, God can come in uh, and do what he needs to do. Uh, and you wondering why you go home the same way that you came. If folks start talking to God on the way to talk to God, whole right. oh, glory to God. Yes. It's like fire, fire, fire. fire. set up in my bones. Yes. Somebody needs to start lifting God up on the way to lift God up. You know, it start at home, right? It start in your secret closet. Every now and then, I got to get down on my knees. I got to shut my door, and I got to praise all by myself. I know what God can do. If you believe it, somebody say it. Yeah. You got to worship him. You have got to bless him while the blood is running warm in your veins. Oh, glory to God. Woo, hallelujah. You got to talk to God. There's a song that says, have a little talk. With Jesus. Tell him all about your troubles. I don't know about you, but every now and then, some of the noise got to stop in the background. Because I got to have my little talk with Jesus. Yep, the football game's got to get turned off. The basketball game's got to get turned off. The dog and the cat got to be quiet. Because this is me and Jesus, hallelujah. I got to have a little talk. Because I need him to work some things out in my life. Can I get a witness in here tonight? Oh, hallelujah. If you have some moments of worship before you get here. Hallelujah. You ain't got to be pumped up. I come dancing through the door. Matter of fact, I get out of my car with my praise. Hallelujah. Because I know what God did for me on the way to worship. Just imagine what he going to do when I get inside. Oh, glory.
He's all right. 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 That's on verse number five. Hallelujah. 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 God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. God is good, y'all. God is good, y'all. It's something about trusting in it when you know what your outcome is going to be. It's something about being confident. It's something about being able to hold your head up high. When other folks say they think they all that, you can say, I know I'm all that because I got something you ain't got. But look here. Glory to God. In verse 5. Hallelujah. 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 Woo, thank you, Lord. He spent some time in warfare. Look here in the scripture, it says, for the time of trouble, he shall hide me. I want you to say, hide me. In the time of trouble, he shall hide me. In other words, God is saying, whew, he's saying God is the only one that knows how to hide you yeah. when the enemy and everybody else is trying to attack you. The only one that can hide you from the view of everything else is God. Uh, your enemies can see you, but they can't touch you. They might have their eyes on you, but they can't do anything to you. They may be plotting and scheming against you, but they can't attack you. They may think they're trying, but they won't succeed. That's why I'm confident. That's why I look like I'm arrogant, because what the enemy is trying to do, I already know he's not gonna win. Hallelujah. It's amazing what God can do. It's amazing that he'll put us in the face of enemies. So, and we will watch the enemy try to grab at us and won't succeed. We watch the enemy try to plot and scheme against us, but he won't win. No. Oh, why? Because the Bible says, touch not thine anointed, and do thy prophet no harm. Uh, he says, I'm going to sit you up upon a rock, and they may try to attack you, uh, but they won't succeed. That's why I can praise him in advance, because I know I'm already a winner. I know I'm already victorious. I already know I'm up on top, uh, because what the enemy is trying to do, uh, God already blocked it. Tell somebody God blocked it. The scripture says, I'm going to prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies. God will keep your smile on your face. 
while they're talking behind your back. God will sustain you in the midst of all your adversity. Oh, thank you, Jesus. But look at verse 6. He says, I will sing. Yes, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Now that I've worshipped and I've been in warfare, he says, now I'm going to praise. Uh, the Bible says, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Uh, you are expected to praise God. Uh, you are required to to praise God. I say you are expected and required to praise God. David says, I ain't scared of nothing because I spent time in prayer with God also. He says, hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. Uh, you can't be strong in the Lord without a prayer life. Who am I speaking to? Every now and then, you got to call on the name of the Lord. And your prayer ain't all about gimme, 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 gimme. Uh, sometimes you just got to tell the Lord thank you. And the only reason some of y'all are still here today is because somebody else prayed for you. Uh, somebody called out your name. But I'm going to skip down to verse number 13. When David says... I had fainted uh -huh. unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Yes. Look, he says, after all that I've been through, yes. I could have given up. <laughs> after all the mess that was going on in my life, I could have quit a long time ago. <laughs> after everything that they said about me, I could have quit. Uh, after giants trying to attack me, uh, I could have went back the other way. Uh, he said, I could have fainted. Uh, I could have let go. Uh, but it was like fire shut up in my bones. Uh, I just couldn't keep it to myself. Uh, I have to run on uh, and see what the end is going to be. Uh, and I believe in this church tonight uh, that there are some folk uh, that can declare uh, that I'm going to hold on. Uh, uh, no matter how tough it gets, I'm going to hold on. Uh, no matter how rocky things get, I'm going to hold on. Uh, in spite of what the plots are against me, I'm going to hold on. Uh, uh, no matter what the setup looks like, I'm going to hold on. Uh, because I know what God can do. Uh, I'm going to hold on. Uh, I'm going to hold on. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to turn back. I'm not going to faint because I know what God can do. I'm going to bless him because I know what God can do. I'm going to worship him because I know what God can do. I'm going to trust him because I know what God can do. Come on, tell the Lord thank you. Hallelujah. 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 So David, he ain't scared. He ain't scared of nothing. Because he can teach somebody else. Look at verse 14. He ain't scared. That's why he's got the authority to talk about it. Because he's been through something. You can teach somebody something if you've been through something. Look, he says now in verse 14. Look, he says, I've been through it all. Uh -huh. Let me tell you what I know. He says, wait on the Lord. Wait on Somebody's receiving us in their spirit right now. He says, wait on the Lord. On he said, I've been through enough now that I can open my mouth and I can tell you what I know. He said, wait on the Lord. On. Somebody needs to receive that tonight. He says, wait on the Lord. On. I don't always know when God's going to show up, but I'm going to tell you, you need to wait on the Lord. Uh, because when he does show up, he'll turn your situation around. Somebody said, wait on the Lord. Uh, David says, I've been through enough to tell you that you need to wait on the Lord. Uh, you trying to figure it out, God's already worked it out. He said, wait on the Lord. Uh, in the book of Isaiah, he says, they that wait on the Lord uh, shall renew thy strength. 
They shall mount up on wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Somebody needs to say, wait on the Lord. God knows how to show up just in the nick of time. If you wait on the Lord, uh, he will give you what you need. Uh, if you wait on the Lord, uh, he will give you joy. If you wait on the Lord, uh, he will fight your battles. If you wait on the Lord, uh, he will be what you need him to be. If you wait on the Lord, uh, he will come to your rescue. If you wait on the Lord. Uh, uh, that thing that you've been praying for will come if you wait on the Lord. Uh, uh, that healing will come if you wait on the Lord. Uh, God will make a way for you. If you just wait on the Lord, uh, he will fight your battles. Uh, there's an old song that says, uh, you can't hurry, God. No, you just got to wait. You got to trust him and give him time. Uh, no matter how long it takes. Uh, he's a God uh, that you can't hurry. Uh, he'll be there. Uh, don't you worry. Uh, song says he may not uh, come when you want him. Uh, he may not uh, come when you want him. Uh, but he's always, uh, he's always, uh, he's always uh, right on time. Uh, and I heard somebody else say, he's a God that you can't hurry. Uh, He'll be there, don't you worry. He may not come when you want him, but you'll always want him when he come. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. He will show up. He will show up. Just in the nick of time, he'll turn your situation around. He'll make a way out of no way. Tell somebody I ain't scared of nothing. I ain't worried about the situation because God's already worked it out. God's already got my back. God's already opened the door. God's already got the job. God's already got the house. God's already got the car. God's already paid the bills. God's already touched the doctor that's going to bless you in your surgery. God's already got your healing. God's already got your Whatever you need, he's already got it. You praying for somebody to get saved, God's already done it. You praying for somebody to, to come into the sanctuary, God's already done it. God's already got it. God's already done it. You got to bless God because he's already done it. Is there any believers in the house tonight? God's already done it. God's already made a way. God's already opened the door. God's already fixed that loan. God's already blessed you with what you need. God's already done it. And that's a word for somebody tonight. God's already done it. God's already done it. No reason to be scared of nothing. Not the weapons that fly by day. Nothing that you hear about on the news. Nothing that you read about in the newspaper. Don't be scared of nothing, because God's already blessed you. Come on, stand on your feet and bless the Lord. Praise him like you ain't scared. Praise him like you ain't scared. Thank you for my victory. 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 That thing I've been asking you for, God, you've already done it. You know what I've been praying for, God, you've already done it. You know, God, what they've been asking you for. God said he's already done it. God says it's yours tonight. It's yours tonight. It's yours tonight. All you got to do is grab it because it's yours. He said, don't be scared. It's yours. Whatever you need, God's got it. Whatever you need, God said, I got it on tonight. He said, why wait until tomorrow when I got it on tonight? Somebody give God praise. Find 
three people and tell them I ain't scared of nothing. Come on and give the Lord a hand praise. Come on and give God a hand praise. And this is what we're going to do. Be to God. Hallelujah. The word was rich. Jordan, come in. Where's Jordan? Come in, Jordan. Grab your tamarind. You know, when they came out of the east, when they came across the Red Sea, came out, they said, Marin, grab the tamarind. This ain't Marin. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. But they rejoiced before the Lord. We heard the word of God tonight. Hallelujah. The Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall we fear? And the Bible says that everything that has breath on the praise the Lord. Glory to God. Oh Lord, shut up. much noise around 1 30. Amen. Amen. I said, I can't take this. Amen. I said, I'm going to give it 10 minutes and this noise got to stop. Amen. Five minutes came, the noise was still going on. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I had enough. I said, I ain't scared of nothing. That's right. That's right. I put my slippers on. Jane, where you going? Jane? I got the flashlight. Put my robe on. Open the back door. I ain't scared of nothing. That was the man on the lawnmower. I said, what are you doing? He said, eh. Oh, I'm sorry. He said, did I bother you? I said, in due respect, yes, you are. He said, I'm going to cut it off right now. I'm going to leave it right where it's at. I'm going to respect you so you can get your rest and go to work the next morning. I said, thank you. And I went on back and went to bed. That's right. Amen. I ain't scared of none. Right. None, honey. Right. Amen. We heard the word tonight. Amen. Now, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Amen. My soul will make a boast in the Lord. Y'all must hear thereof and be glad. Amen. We thank God for the service on tonight. We thank God for <laughs> Dr. Daniel bringing such a beautiful word. And, and, and let me just say, 
I know that some of you see, I, I know the story, but she doesn't. But some of you are dealing with some situations in your in your homes and and you you are fearful of the outcome. When I say your homes, your families, you're fearful of the outcome. But she just stopped by to encourage you tonight that you can have confidence in Christ. Hmm? Doesn't matter what come or go, you can have confidence in Christ. But you gotta wait on him. If you wait on him, he'll prove himself. Amen. Amen. So I I was as she was preaching, I was just thinking like, you know, different situations that I didn't see when I when you know personal situation. Sometimes it's kind of hard to minister to those things. Yeah. But when, when somebody come along and don't know your story, uh, you should gain faith. And I, we know you have faith in Christ, but the message should have given you an added measure of faith. The scripture says to every man is giving the measure of faith. Amen? But then God was sent servants by to add to your measure of faith. And if you will apply to your life, God will prove himself again like he's proven it in the past. Amen. We thank God again for the word. We thank God for uh, uh, Prophet Coleman. We thank God for Pastor Jackson. Amen. Um, and, and just all of you who have come tonight, all of our ministry, Thank God for our deacons, our mother missionaries, everyone who have assembled in the household of faith. It's truly good to be in the sanctuary on tonight. As you know, uh, we lost our uncle on yesterday, my, my father's youngest brother, and then um, he was the brother of uh, Sister Flora. Um, and before that, probably less than six hours before that, we lost Mother Solomon. Amen. So we're um, asking God's blessing over Brother Deacon, Brother Kenny family, and um, and then not 12 hours later, he lost his stepfather. So they have two deaths to deal with in his family. So, uh, you know, here, and ask you to be prayerful, we're leaving, if the Lord permit, to go out to the, go to the convocation on Sunday, and it's, it's kind of difficult leaving knowing that your brothers and your sisters behind you have to deal with certain situations. But we pray God blessing upon you. We pray that he would strengthen you. Um, we will give you more instructions tomorrow on the expectations. Uh, I understand that Brother Carl's service is going to be a graveside service. And um, actually, um, Brother Coleman is, is, for, um, is, preach, is speaking, preaching. I'm going to say preaching because it might be graveside, but I know that's a word. Right. Amen. Yeah. And he's, he'll be doing that uh, on Tuesday. So we'll give you more information on tomorrow. Uh, keep in mind that when we come back that Sunday from the convocation, um, Mother Solomon's funeral is that Monday. So there's a lot of preparation that we need to do so we can see how things orchestrated be before we leave. Amen? If nothing else came to our attention. Again, I'm going to say, Pastor Daniels, we thank you for being here. Amen. For your husband, uh, just for how you allowed God to use you. She, she's reminded me she used to come here with Sister Lisa when she was a little girl. So don't be a stranger to the house of God here. Amen. 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 You're certainly welcome to come at the, any time. Nothing else came to our attention? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
praise the Lord again. Hallelujah. I just wanted to um, just say a few words thanking you again for the hospitality and the opportunity to be here on tonight. And I know so many of you, and I thank God for you, that God has kept us this many years that I've seen you, that I've been here. God has kept us all. Amen. Isn't God doing marvelous things? Yes. And I know some of you are wondering, where are my kids? My oldest, and I just wanted to share because I think we're the only, um, probably the only folks around here that have triplets. And uh, my three are 20, my, my youngest three are 20 now, and they just finished their second year of college. This fall they're going to their third year of college, and they're all musicians, praise God. Isn't, isn't God good like that? God give you a ministry and give you all musicians. My oldest son is getting married in October, and Jordan lives in, um, he's going to be living in Alexandria, but now he lives in Maryland, and he is a drummer. And my triplet son, John Daniels, goes to George Mason, and he plays keyboard, and he plays many, several places. He plays for his choir at George Mason. And then Hannah, my daughter, she um, is currently not playing any music, though, but she's at Longwood University. And my son, Joshua, was at Longwood, but he's finishing up at PVCC. And he's a bass guitar, an acoustic guitar. So I praise God for those three little miracles and my oldest son, they're all miracles. I mean, babies are miracles, but some of you know my story and God is good just like that. Right? God is good just like that. And I thank God that they're all in ministry. If they're not with me, they're somewhere. John's in New Jersey tonight. So, you know, God is just good like that. And I just wanted to share. Pray my strength in the Lord. So we, we can stand now and be dismissed. Let's bow together. Heavenly Father, we thank you now for this blessed night. We thank you, Lord, for the words, the songs, the ministry and dance, all that we've done, all that we've experienced in this place tonight. We give you glory for it, God, and we thank you, Lord. We thank you for what you're going to do in this place on tomorrow. And we pray, Heavenly Father, right now that you would just bless tomorrow, bless the Sabbath, bless the word, bless the teaching, bless the music, bless the ministry. May it go forth with power and conviction. We thank you now in Jesus' name. Amen. You're dismissed.